Satish Mishra. Thank you, sir, for giving this opportunity to uh, make some business in this constitutional amendment bill. Uh, at the very outset, our party's view is that so far as the independence of judiciary is concerned, that has to be the first criteria to be kept in mind. And as I see that in this amendment, the, in the Constitution itself, now the Judicial Commission has been included. And it silence, please. Part silence. The, silence, please. And it has been made part of the Constitution itself. And therefore, at least there cannot be any tinkering or any, I would not use the word tinkering because the legislature it, in its wisdom does it, but uh, there may be a situation where if it is not in the Constitution, then there could have been changes today, tomorrow, thereafter, again, with regards to the constitution of the commission, which has to be main body with respect to this. I had, we had made certain suggestions, but uh, uh, in the procedure part, probably it is being taken care of, that so far as the high courts are concerned, it may be difficult for the commission sitting in uh, Delhi only to consider and find out the names from the high court. The, uh, in the procedure part, probably some explanations have been given that how, the High Court judges would be uh, appointed and the names would be initiated from the, by the Chief Justice of the High Court. I would uh, like the Honorable Law Minister to definitely throw light on this because it may not be a system which may fail on account of this because today the vacancies as in are existing, it is known to all of us. In UP, if we take Uttar Pradesh itself, about 160 vacancies, uh, the sanction strength is there. And out of 160 sanction strength, which was sanctioned almost 12 years back up to that extent, we have been able to fill only 80 to 90, reach maximum 90 judges appointment in the High Court of uh, Uttar Pradesh, in Allahabad, which is for Uttar Pradesh. And the result has been the pendency of the uh, cases in the, uh, in the High Court and a voluminous, about 16 lakhs cases being pending in the Allahabad High Court itself. But our concern always, my party's concern always has been that the representation in the selection of the High Court judges who come later on to the Honorable Supreme Court, there has always been a discriminatory attitude to the extent that so far as women are concerned and especially scheduled caste persons are concerned, there has always been a discriminatory thing. We don't find number of women judges in comparison to the uh, male judges, even though now there are large number of uh, brilliant lawyers who are, uh, from the women category, but still we have one or two. In Allahabad High Court, we got the first judge uh, as a woman judge, and that was only uh, 20 years back uh, when we got the first judge. So uh, by keeping, bringing in this procedure and making it a requirement under the commission that there will be a member, maybe a woman, maybe of the other categories, especially the scheduled caste category. The scheduled caste category has been completely excluded in consideration and they have totally been discriminated, even though the minority, the backwards, they got the chances to come into it. Women also got, but so far scheduled caste is concerned, the result has been very bad in that we don't have the judges of belonging to this category, and there is therefore a feeling throughout the country that if in there, and since there is no representative, a judge will act uh, in an independent manner, uh, of course. But still, if the, if the, in the entire judiciary, if there is no scheduled caste, as in Uttar Pradesh, if the law minister will find out from the records, for the last several years, there, no appointment has been made from the scheduled caste as a high court judge. Result has been that there is a complete vacuum and a zero percentage uh, representation of the scheduled caste in the bench of the high court. Naturally, from the high court only, they come to the Honorable Supreme Court. Recently only, we have been able to get two judges from the, directly from the bar after a very, very long time to the Honorable Supreme Court, but otherwise they are uh, coming from the high courts. So this aspect we had been throughout saying in, uh, in, in the parliament also outside that this has to be kept into consideration and I hope that this judicial commission which has been now con being constituted under the constitutional amendment, even if there is no representative because it has not been said by rotation or that all the members necessarily scheduled caste will be there or not be there, it will be decided later on when the constitution of the commission is done. But even if it is not there, I would definitely request since the Honorable Law Minister is also going to be a member of the 
uh, Commission, and that this aspect may kindly be considered that the representatives of the, at least from the scheduled caste, they should be kept into consideration that out of 160 judges or 90 sitting judges, at least you may think of one judge to be there from this community. That do not exclude completely and give an impression that no, they will not be allowed to come into, an, into the bench of the high court. Their representation should be in a capacity in the, in the percentage which uh, they are, uh, in, in fact, is due to them. And therefore, not e even having one is really, uh, we have, though we, I have raised this issue again and again on several occasions in this house before the previous law ministers when the UPA government was there. But uh, may, whatever reasons are there, maybe the names have not been sent. Uh, to my knowledge, the names were sent earlier when the, uh, in UP, the government was there when uh, Ms. Mayati Ji was uh, the chief minister, names were sent. But ultimately, when it came to Delhi, some were uh, uh, dropped in the Supreme Court level, the other was dropped in the government level. So all these prejudices keep on adding into the minds of the particular community that so far, and including the lawyers of that community, <coughs> that it is an uh, attempt that they should not uh, be a represent into the higher judiciary, and therefore they are being excluded. So we hope that this commission will act independently, will uh, uh, try to keep the, uh, get, get the best of the honorable judges to be appointed, not on the basis of nomination basis, which is now being done, three uh, members, three members in the collegium, three decide amongst themselves. If they, uh, one agrees to the one name, the other says, this is my name, the third says, this is my name. If you don't agree to my name, I don't agree to your two names. And therefore, the entire uh, names are gone, either stuck, and that is why vacancies, and that is why pendencies of the case. And then we stand here, and we request the government, which is in power, that do something so that the cases are, dis you cannot uh, burn the files, you can only dispose of them after being decided uh, uh, in, in the High Court of Allahabad itself and uh, where I've been practicing for the last 39 years now, it's the 39th year, and uh, the pendency is about 16 lakh cases. In Lucknow itself, the pendency is of more than 3 lakhs and 4 lakhs, about 4 lakh cases. So all this adds to the difficulties of the public, the litigants who come to the courts with highest hopes that their cases would be decided. Uh, we, uh, uh, in the capacity of Advocate General when, of UP when I was there, in the capacity of uh, Chairman Bar Council of UP, in the capacity when the government was there in power of BSP, and all these occasions I had made these suggestions that uh, kindly, once we know that this is an occasion, we may not, I don't know when I'll die, because nobody knows. But at least when a judge is appointed, the day he is appointed, it is known to everyone that this is the date when he will retire. And on that date, if it is known in advance, why we fail to get the appointments done, but it is good that I've seen the, the other bill, the other bill which provides the procedure, which says that it will be within this period before the retirement, you have to send the recommendation, it has to be considered, and hopefully this thing uh, will uh, remove the anomaly of having large number of vacancies <coughs> Recently, we heard that we will increase the vacancies. We'll increase the strength in the High Court. And once the, uh, the strength of the High Court being increased by 25%, we'll go to 200 judges in, in Uttar Pradesh. But what about 160? We, do, we have not been able to fill, as I said just now, we have not been able to fill 160. We have not been able to cross 100 in uh, Uttar Pradesh because we feel that we don't have the uh, number, because the procedure has failed. So therefore, the existing procedure by means of which, which was uh, not provided originally in the Constitution, where the consultation was to be done with the Chief Justice by the President, it has been reversed the other way, that no, they will be informed that we are appointing so-and-so. If you don't agree, I will reiterate, and you will have to reconfirm that name. That procedure is, is, uh, was not in the Constitution, and it, it has also miserably failed. So therefore, to have proper, uh, effective, honest judges in the bench, which decide the fate of uh, 125 total people and the uh, litigants uh, uh, who come to the court, it is necessary that the amendment should be brought, and we are in support. We, I'm not going at length uh, mentioning about the merits and demerits, because this exercise was done earlier when the UPA had brought uh, the amendment. We, I had already spoken on that occasion for two hours that uh, we, I do not want to reiterate and re uh, uh, say uh, that, but I, we support this. 
except one thing which all, uh, the Honorable Law Minister would probably uh, come out tomorrow and explain when he brings the other bill, that 124C of the, uh, the amendment, which has, by, through amendment in the Constitution, you have brought the power of Parliament to make law. Now, if this uh, power of Parliament to make law is being brought under Article 124C, which has not been, uh, which is presently not in existence, so therefore, whether the other law which is being framed, uh, which would be bill which would be coming tomorrow, can be made a law as on date, or it has to wait till the amendment. That, of course, we would, uh, when the bill comes tomorrow, we will consider. Thank you. With this, I support the bill.